Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Today is the feast day of Saint Matthias the Apostle, and as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just and, though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the discussion had gone on a long time, Peter stood up and addressed the apostles and elders. My brothers, he said, you know perfectly well that in the early days God made his choice among you. The pagans were to learn the good news from me and so become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's heart, showed his approval of them by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as he had to us. God made no distinction between them and us, since he purified their hearts by faith. It would only provoke God's anger now, surely, if you imposed on the disciples the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong enough to support, Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of the Lord Jesus. This silenced the entire assembly, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul describing all the signs and wonders God had worked through them among the pagans. When they had finished, it was James who spoke. My brothers, he said, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first arranged to enlist the people for his name out of the pagans. This is entirely in harmony with the words of the prophets, since the scriptures say, After that I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David. I shall rebuild it from its ruins and restore it. Then the rest of mankind, all the pagans who are consecrated to my name, will look for the Lord, says the Lord who made this known so long ago. I rule then that instead of making things more difficult for pagans who turn to God, we send them a letter telling them merely to abstain from anything polluted by idols, from fornication, from the meat of strangled animals and from blood. For Moses has always had his preachers in every town and is read aloud in the synagogues every Sabbath. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Alleluia. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Alleluia. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Alleluia. Proclaim to the nations God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ has risen. He who created all things and has granted his mercy to men. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, if you, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St Peter says in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of the Lord Jesus. Peter's saying whether you are a Jew, as it was in his day, or whether you're a pagan, any other religion from the ancient world, you are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus. And it's important for us to remember today that we are saved through the grace of our Lord Jesus. It's not something we can do by ourselves. It's something we need outside help. In the 20th century, and the, actually starting from the mid-19th century, there was this view that if humans carried on developing and progressing, and if they could keep um, doing, going, how, going, you know, how things were going, being cleverer, being more um, better at building machines, being uh, greater at making money, whatever it is, humanity will kind of reach its uh, fulfillment by itself. And uh, of course, that was uh, trashed, that philosophy, when we had the terror of the First World War and all the other terrible conflicts and injustices of the 20th century and stretching even in today. We can't get things right on our own. We need outside help. And the gospel claim is that Jesus Christ is that outside help to save us. St Anselm described us as a diamond that had fallen to the bottom of a murky and filthy pond. And it sunk so far down, it was covered in like the gunge and the mess at the bottom of the pond. And the diamond can't be brought out by itself. It needs somebody to push their arm right into the pond, find that stone at the bottom, stuck in the mud and pull it out into the brilliant sunshine of the day. And that's like us, St Anselm says. We're like a stone, like that precious diamond, precious in God's eyes, that diamond who has fallen to the bottom and it's his only son, Jesus Christ, who has pulled us out of that pond and holds us up again in the radiance of the Father's light. It's a wonderful illustration and it's a good one because it reminds us how we can't really do things on our own back. We can't save ourselves spiritually. We need outside help. We need the grace of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Now in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we lift up to the church. We pray that we show the world who Jesus Christ is, the Son of God and the Saviour of humanity, the one whose kingdom will come and whose rule of love and peace will last forever. Amen. Father, we pray for the leaders of the church, Pope Francis, Archbishop Justin Welby, the Ecumenical Patriarch of the Orthodox Church, Bartholomew, and all other 
leaders in the church. We pray, Lord, also for the Bishop of London, Bishop Sarah, Bishop Rob, our area bishop. We pray for Father Tamin and his family as Father Tamin leads us in this parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the neighbouring churches around us in Freezy Water, St Peter and St Paul's, St James's, Jesus Church, the Baptist Church, the Methodist Church, the Free Church. We pray that we all might join our voices together to proclaim the glory of your Son's name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the work of St George's Church that we might bring something of your light and joy to those around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters across the globe, many of whom who fear for their lives because of their faith in your Son, Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to you the world. We pray for peace in the world. We pray for an end of religious extremist violence and terrorism. We pray for the people of Afghanistan as they have suffered another horrifying attack by the Taliban. We pray for all areas of the world which are marred by extremist violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for an end to this coronavirus pandemic. We pray for those who are extremely ill at the moment. We pray for those who are grieving because of the loss of loved ones. We pray for those who are petrified of going outside in case they get this illness. We pray for all the research scientists and doctors who are looking for a cure for this terrible illness. We pray that they be successful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those workers who've carried on despite the dangers. We thank you for our NHS staff and we ask you to bless them. We pray for our delivery drivers, shop workers, police, paramedics, all those people who still have to work despite the dangers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those who have lost their livelihoods because of this those who are in financial difficulties because of this. We lift up those people to you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the people of Enfield and the people who are watching this. We pray for the lonely, the fearful, the anxious, the depressed, those who fear for the future, those who are in great deal of pain. We pray for those who are isolated and lonely. We pray for those who are addicted, those who are suffering from abuse of some kind. We pray for all those people this evening. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we lift up to you those who are ill in mind, body or spirit, including anybody who is ill watching this. And we pray for those people on our hearts, our friends and family. In this parish, we particularly remember Pauline Stathers, Doreen Flint, Ron Painter, Claudia Berner, Susie Antonou, Sue Lee, Heather Anderson, Miranda Kernew, Kathleen Hawkins, Dory Lynch, Davidson Sukansing, 
Tony Betts, Maureen Rosario, Ian Sergison, Jeanette Sukansing, Michael Shine, Maudie Fox, Patricia Maloney, Patricia Ray, Father Alan Cross, Emma Evans, Violet Pockrant, Luke Sheehan, Barbara Baker and Diana Jones. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those recently departed. Charles Lampkin, Jeff Howson, John Mason, Reverend Linda Liversidge, Dorothy Blacktop, Janet Young, Beatrice Boto, Cheryl Williams, Danny Willoughby, Deacon David Stewart, and Jean Deakin. And we remember also Harry Batts, his anniversary of death is this day. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. Christ is the Prince of Peace. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.